there. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Fantastic. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. The gate is locked. I can't get through. All right, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Hey there! Huh? Could someone, someone be there? Be there? Of, course of course not. not. No, no one would be so rude as to, as to enter, enter without, without knocking. knocking. <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. Did I leave the gas on? Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. What? This is filthy. I said, hey there. No, no. no. Nobody, Nobody there. there. Door, Door is locked, locked and barred. And barred. Nobody no. could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. no. Visitors, Visitors must, must knock, knock or ring, ring the bell. bell. That's, That's the, the way, way it's done. done. Um, knock knock? What? <sighs> the door is still cl- <sighs> I'll be friggin' spooks. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you- Hmm, it better be- Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later, just do it. A knock? Oh my, a visitor! Uh, uh, just a minute. minute! Is my hair okay? It'll, It'll have, have to, to do. do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can, Can I, help I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I'm a bit lost. Sorry. Are you looking for apartment? Yeah. Are you feeling all right, Mister? You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right. Yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? I have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're unbalanced. Tell me what you want before I call the police. I'd like to ask you some- Look, I'm not going to- Who are you? I'm with the Census Bureau. And I have- Where's your clipboard? Excuse me? I thought all- Ah, no. Not anymore. Cutbacks. You're not fooling me. One of who is them? 
I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. I can't take... It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Let's take a look-see. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. My guess is that she's not too happy with the foreman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. This letter was written only a few weeks ago. So, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. There's a phone number, but no address. Hello? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh, why didn't you say? You've got my $60. Um, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Hmm, the things I'll do for a case. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like. After you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there. How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt.
They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. The building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely, thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you- Just that she- There's nothing- Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Thanks. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. There's not much in here, just a photograph and a letter. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? Twice in one evening? Come on in, sit down. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived up town a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something. 
and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contented myself just with the what's. Anything else you- I'm afraid I've told you ever- I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. Another visitor? Oh, uh, you again. I'd like to ask- Look, I'm not- Who are you? It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam. You know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, right. Sorry. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. This place is filthy. So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. If John Durkin was Sam's father, it's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. Sure, that would work. There's no entry for that. Columbia University. Here's the number. your call. How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. Durkin. Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. All right. I'll bite. How do you know my mom? I was a friend. A friend? That's right. We both know that's a lie. She didn't have any friends. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you'd know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? 
Alright, so maybe you did know her. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were gonna pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can, and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. Woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I gonna lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere, never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good it did. What did you give her? I don't think that's in- it's been years. Bye, Sam. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes. I'm becoming downright popular. Come in, have a seat. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. I think that's all. All right. You have a good night now.
I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. I'd like to see them try. Hey, kid. Knock on my. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which, Which present was that? that? The book, Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, sure Sam. Sam. It's, it's right, right on the table. table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, sure. I can pick it up. Oh! Oh, no! What? The book! It's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody stole it! Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But I don't know where to look. Maybe it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, Sam. But only for you. I, I still don't see it anywhere. Let's try further down, Mom. I'm... I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, Sam where are we? we? I'm, I'm scared. scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. Oh. Where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You. You made me leave, and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home, and then... Then I... Oh, God. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. Oh my god. Mavis? It's so bright and big. It just goes on forever. I just want to go home. Please, can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. What a legacy. Husband gone and dead? My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life, over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. That old woman choking me. Old woman? She just came in and killed me. She said she was going to help me. Uh, well, what now? The light, Mavis. Just head towards it. And then? I don't know. I'm scared, but it feels right somehow. John, Sam, I'm so sorry for everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you, but I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of luck, wherever you are. You alright? Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You? Like clockwork. You saved her! 
Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them! I'm like you! You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world! Like you! You mean... you're a medium? Yes! But you can't be. I am like you! Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people! I don't hurt them! Get back here! Stupid old hag! Let's get after her. God damn it! Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there.